Setting up Ring Central Office. Okay, so in this video today, we're going to be doing the following in Ring Central. Show how to change a voice greeting, how to send a fax, and how to receive a fax. Okay, so we're on the Ring Central main site here, and we're clicking under the Office uh, product here. We're going to sign up for the free trial. So we're going to click through that. This is a little bit different than a typical standard Ring Central, just for like say voicemail. They're going to want to contact you and find. And uh, it's a little bit different product. It's um, so we're going to walk through this here. We're going to go and get our initial information in first. And then when I click through here, they're going to want to contact me. They're going to give me an 800 number to call. So um, I will uh, offer to pause this so that you can at least get to that point there because this is going to be kind of a two-point, two-part process here. Okay, so we've got our notification here from Ring Central, and uh, we need to dial this 888 number here to uh, get our free trial going. So let's pause this video right now and call this 888-898-4591. They will get you set up and then we can continue on with the process here with the video. So we'll just have a momentary pause here and then as soon as you get your information, your login credentials, we'll continue on with the video. So I'm logging in now and we've uh, gotten to the point here where uh, we've got an initial phone number here and logging in to our dashboard. Okay, so as you see with the mouse cursor here now, we're going to go um, show how to set up a uh, greeting. So we're going to go to the main company tab there and go to company greeting and menu. Now, obviously, you can change it for different hours. So we're just going to do it for the main business hours greeting. I'm going to show you where that's at. So if we click on that, um, it'll show the default. It says uh, you're, it'll auto automatically generate your company name. Um, we're going to do custom here. I'm just going to show you how, how that's done. We're going to go and uh, record using the computer microphone. And it's, uh, it says it wants the Adobe Flash Player to record the greeting. So we'll click that option. And then you will be able to uh, record your greeting at that point. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to send a fax. So first thing we're going to do is actually put in a fax number. And uh, if you don't have a fax number to send to, there's actually a test fax number. I'm going to actually be using a, um, an 800 or an 888 number, and it's uh, 473-2963. And this is actually a um, HP test fax number. So I'm going to go and use a cover page here and just uh, jot down since um, this is a... Uh, test fax, but what I want to do is uh, just go through the motions here. So you have uh, you can choose different uh, cover sheets, whether it's a um, birthday or if it's, you know, depending on if it's a formal letter or what have you. So I'm just typing in uh, just a quick uh, note here on the cover sheet, and then uh, we'll continue with uh, attaching a file. So um, Ring Central's done a great job of just making this basically just a one, two, three um, option here. It's not a huge arduous process to send a fax. Okay, so we've got our small message in there. And now we're going to choose an attached file here. So we're going to go to my computer. And we'll go and pick a uh, Word doc here to embed in our fax. So real easy, just go to my computer. And uh, this is obviously on a Mac. And we're just going to go and uh, pick up a uh, Word doc to insert. So click Open. And now you'll notice here at the bottom here, um, you're going to see that change once we put Attach. So there's our file. I'm going to click Attach. And uh, as soon as that, that occurs, you will see that um, embedded then. So you'll know your file's attached. So there we are, as you see right there. I'll take the mouse cursor right along there. You can see now you've got your doc file. It's inserted in the fax. Okay, another thing I want to show is how to schedule a uh, fax here. So this is um, important because of who the recipient is. So let's just uh, assume that this is going to a 
um, traditional fax machine in an open office environment. So um, maybe it's even sensitive material. So you want to make sure that the uh, the person is there during normal business hours. So we're going to uh, change that and uh, make sure that uh, the fax delivers during a normal business day. So now we've set the date. Now we're going to set the time here. So I'm going to set, put it for 8 o'clock uh, a.m. So change it from p.m. to a.m. So we've got that. Now we're going to hit the schedule button. And now the doc is, my fax has now been scheduled to send. So it's now in the queue to be um, sent out and it'll go to the recipient at 8 a.m. Okay, so now I'm going to show how to a, uh, send a fax and just automatically send it. And then um, also go back in and check to see that it was sent. So we're going to go, um, here's the cover letters again. So you can check check here's like a formal letter and if you want to preview it you can preview it so there's what it's going to look like with all the recipient and and the sender and what have you so again i'll just send a uh, quick uh this is just going to be another test fax so i'm going to put some uh verbiage in here real quick and then we will send it so um We've got a few options here besides my com um, picking the dock from my computer. You can do Dropbox or um, Google G Drive. You just need to uh, have that all set up. So I picked another uh, dock here and I'm attaching it. And just like before, I've got it sitting down here and uh, it knows it's going to be faxed. So we're just going to go ahead and send it now. And there's the message we get. It says fax has been processed and will be sent in a moment. Okay. So now we're going to go and check and see what we have here. So there we are. We've got the two uh, two page fax that was uh, sent, the cover page plus the um, we've actually got two in there. We've got the one that we scheduled and then we have the one that was automatically sent. So we've got both of those there. So, OK, so now we're going to actually go and um, receive a fax now. So to do that, we actually need to generate our fax number. So I'm going to go through here real quick and we're going to go and select our fax number. So um, you can do this with an 888 number, a toll, you know, a toll free number, or you want to do a local area code. So I'm actually doing a local area code just uh, for um, sake of ease here. So um, if, if you've got a uh, brick and mortar business or if you've got a business where you do a lot of local business, um, that may be a viable thing to have a local um, fax number. So we're getting that set up right now. We've selected the number and uh, there it is. It's, so we've got our main number, our fax number, and we are set up. So just like before, we're um, gonna go and actually send it now. So I'm gonna actually send for a test fax so that we can actually view that um, it's worked we're going to actually fax over a doc um, to our new fax number so again we'll just go in and browse we're going to go pick a word doc to attach we've got that we're opening that up so i know this is coming to my computer right now so i'm just going to go and just do a quick uh, this is a test here and this will um this will go right back into my inbox when we're done. We'll, we'll verify that though. So we've got this uh, set up now and uh, we're not scheduling it. We're just gonna fire it off. So there we go. Uh, we just sent the fax. Now we're gonna go and check it and make sure it's there. So as you see here in our inbox here, I've got a two page fax that has been sent and it actually has a little um, thumbnail of it. And if we scroll down here, We've got the whole thing. We've got the um, all the information on the cover page, plus the Word doc that we sent in there. Okay, so we're back here on our main page, and that's pretty much what I wanted to uh, convey today, how to basically um, get the voicemail set up, how to send a fax, how to receive a fax. This program's got a lot of legs, and it's a great program to use. So anyhow... Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more videos, and please subscribe.